Hey, what's up? This is Scott with the Level Up Tuds, and today I'm going to show you how to map a folder to a remote folder on a server and maintain sync with them. So this is a really cool feature of Sublime SFTP. It's probably my favorite feature. So what you first need to do is make a, a folder on your local machine. Um, see, I'm going to be making mine in my sites folder, and we're just going to call this Scott, and this is going to be my own personal site. You're going to name this something distinct, uh, something that you're going to be able to remember, and I'm going to drag this whole folder into my projects window in Sublime Text. Okay, notice how this folder contains absolutely nothing. That's going to change with this awesome feature. So we're going to right click on our folder, and under Sublime SFTP, there's this map to remote. And so we're going to want to do that. So let's click that button. And you'll notice the first thing it does is it creates this F SFTP uh, config JSON file. And right now, it's populated with just the defaults. If I save this, it saves it directly into our folder. So now that folder that we had that had no files has just this. This is just like the other um, FTP uh, application uh, this is just like the other FTP config file that we filled out in the last video. So I'm going to fill this out with my information. Keep in mind you want this remote path to be the path to the folder that you're going to do. So I actually want this to be um, on my Drupal site like I was showing you before. And that was in HTTP docs and then it was slash and then I might not remember. Well it's sites slash all slash themes slash and then let's check it out so if i do shift command or uh, shift command p and i go to sftp i browse my server i can go to my server that i have here and i can let's go up a folder actually this is the exact folder i want i want just my theme folder uh, if you're familiar with Drupal, you'll know that this is just a theme. I don't want to include all the rest of Drupal stuff, but I do want my theme, which includes my CSS, my JavaScript, all that stuff. So um, that's HTTP docs slash sites slash all slash themes and then slash ST. So I want that to be my remote path. So this remote path, this uh, folder ST, this is what it's going to grab and it's what it's going to sync. So if that doesn't make any sense, uh, just uh, hang tight. I'm going to fill all this information out just like we had it before. And when I come back, I'm going to do some magic. Okay, so hang tight. I'm going to edit my password here, save this file so you can't see it. And one quick thing, I'm going to change this upload on save from false to true because I want whenever I save a file to automatically upload. You can check out some of these other options. They're in English, so you can, you know, sort of pop through them at your own. But for the most part, I just use the defaults here and save this and let's close out of it. Okay, when I come back, uh, it, I'm going to map this folder. So now that I have that uh, FTP config file all loaded up with my password and my correct FTP information, what we're going to do is we're going to right click on our folder here and you'll notice we have a whole lot more options. We can sync remote with local, which we don't want to do because what that's going to do is it's going to make our server look just like our local. And since our local has nothing in it, it's going to delete a whole bunch of stuff. So we're going to ignore that one. And sync remote uh, to local is going to do the exact opposite. And since we have nothing in our local and we want the latest updates from everything I have on my server right now, I'm just going to pull down from my local or from my from my server, from my remote server. And if you sync both directions, it sort of checks which files are newer in both locations and it just gives you the newest version of each file in every location. So if we click sync remote with local right now, it's going to come up here and say it's checking this and it's determining this path and then what it's going to do is it's going to tell us all these files this is what it's going to do download 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 create 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 if this uh, already had files here it would say delete this one delete that one but since we have nothing it's just going to download everything so it gives you this prompt I'm going to click yes and it's going to go to town it's going to download everything so this is going to do this for a second, and once it comes back, uh, I'll show you exactly what happened. Okay, so now without even going to my file structure, you'll see that this folder is completely populated with my CSS files, everything that I had in my sites folder, and 
looks pretty awesome. I can go ahead and edit some scripts that I have in here and it's perfect. So one thing it, you can do really awesomely is, is that since in this sftp.json uh, file, I have it set to automatically upload on save. So anytime I edit any of these files, this dialog is going to pop up and say that it has uploaded it. And if that's like way too big for you, you can drag it down and now you'll notice it's just this little window down here. But every time you save, it's gonna tell you that that file got uploaded. That's sweet, that's awesome, that's really great. That's exactly what we wanted it to do. So what's really great about this is all these files are now on my computer locally. And let's say if I wanted to edit this CSS file and I had CodeKit watch this folder or SAS watch this folder, I made uh, a save to this file. It's gonna upload the SCSS, it's gonna compile. I could then go over to the CSS file click save and upload that one. And now I can um, edit a SAS file on my server locally in a way that is not too intrusive. And also if this sync, let's say you've modified these files from somewhere else, you can always right click on this and sync both directions. And it's gonna come up here and tell you which files are the newest in which places. And it's gonna give you that yes, no. Notice how it's saying it's gonna upload these ones um, to these places and it looks like it's going to upload a whole bunch of stuff because um, when you downloaded from before it didn't say that you know it doesn't give those files a modified date it just pulls them down so of course it's going to think these ones that it just downloaded are the latest so I'm going to click no because I don't need to but that's just some of the options you have so check out Sublime SFTP this map to remote feature is really great so as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. We love to hear from you, and thanks for watching.